All right, let's draw the outside of the hand, but just showing the pinky finger. Let's not worry about the thumb and all the other fingers. So let's start at the end of your arm bone. We'll get into arm bones later. And then, of course, there's your wrist in there and your carpal bones. Now let's draw this metacarpal bone all the way up to the top of the knuckle. And it's kind of a concave line. And then we're going to cross... This time we're going to have it at about a 90 degree angle, I have my hand set. And we'll come in and go over the knuckle and a nice uh, concave line to come up to that first phalange knuckle. Then the second one, which is about half of this distance here. This distance here is about the same as that. And then our third phalange. And let's come around, and I'll start at the skin fold here. Sometimes, well, maybe not. Let's just go ahead and get this one like this. Go up into our skin fold. Goes up to the top of that phalange knuckle. Same thing here. Now, the, the first one, the first phalange, it meets the metacarpal. That's kind of tricky because you go back a little bit, and then now you have a skin fold here, and then you have half a little bit of the, the palm in there. So you usually have like two skin folds here, and both of them kind of point right at the knuckle. This first one points towards the first of it. Then you kind of get a little bit fatter here, and this one points back into there. And then the rest of the palm comes down here, turns in, and so on. Right now, a quick sketch of doing the index finger only. And we'll start back at the base uh, where the carpals and the metacarpal meet. So that comes up here. And there's the top of my knuckle. And we're going to have usually a concave line between the knuckle and the, uh, or the phalange. And the metacarpals meet there. Now we have our long phalange. And then we're going to have our short one. That's usually a, a concave line. And then the next one. The last one, the digit, so I'll come around and now with your hand and you curl those fingers like that, your skin folds are going to be more prominent and the distance between here is a lot smaller because you fatten up your the meat in there and just make uh, small this way, but you make longer skin folds in here, almost touching the uh, top of it. Okay, and now I'm going to come back with this one's right in here. And now remember there's um, some way before here. So let's, let's draw this about right in there. And then I have one about right there. And now I have like three skin folds here that are right at covering these uh, pads right in here. And we'll talk about those later. So there's my finger. This probably doesn't have to be so pronounced. Come around here. And somewhere in there. Just practice that. Thinking about your concave lines and your convex lines. Phalanges. Metacarpals. And then, of course, your carpals are your wrists.